A lot of times when we're learning new technologies and frameworks, we tend to gloss over the basic concepts. But in this YouTube series, we're going to break down the basics of React.js and understand them at a fundamental level. Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about web technologies and developer productivity. In this video, I go over the npx command create react app. Running create react app and specifying a project name is well known to be the best way to get started with react if you've never worked with it before. But let's take a few minutes to understand why exactly. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button to support me and my everlasting dream to not work for Fang. Awesome. Let's dive right in. The interesting thing about this command is that we're actually doing npx create react app. We're not doing npm create react app. And, you know, there's a little bit of mystery to this command, at least for me, since it was my first time working with react. So I kind of wanted to dive a little deeper and understand more about what this command was doing. npx turns out is a way that you can execute packages on your machine. So npm is for management, whereas npx is to execute specific packages. Up until a certain point, Node basically allowed you to download packages really easily with npm, but it didn't allow you to run them. In one of the Node updates, they introduced npx, and that just allows you to run packages directly. Usually when you are running packages, you have to install them, right? So if you ever do like a require inside of one of your uh, projects, you generally have to install that package into your machine. So that made me wonder like, okay, should I do npm install and globally install create react app? It turns out that you're actually not supposed to do that. Inside of the create react app repository, Facebook mentions that if you actually installed create react app globally inside of your computer, they recommend that you uninstall the package because that's the best way to ensure that NPX always uses the latest version. So that was like the first interesting thing for me about this command is first that we're running NPX and I didn't really know what NPX was, but now I understand that NPX is a way to execute specific packages. And the second thing is that you're actually not supposed to install create react app into your local machine. You're actually just supposed to run NPX. So the second really useful thing that running the command does for us is it sets up Babel and Webpack. So let's talk about what these two technologies do and why they're so useful for running react applications. So let's take a quick look at this example to understand what Babel is doing. Chrome, where you are running your web application, cannot understand JSX. Having Babel allows you to write JSX. And realistically, JSX is way easier to read and understand than if you didn't have Babel, you would have had to write code like this, and this is not fun at all. So that's the first really good thing about using Create React App. It just sets up Babel for you. At the end of the day, Babel compiles JSX into JavaScript that the browser can read. And now let's take a look at the second reason why Create React App is really useful. So when you're building out code, it's usually nice to just separate things into different components. So you can see here that we have a piano, but really a piano is composed of keys, right? And that piano is going to be referenced inside of our app.js file, which is referenced inside of our index.js file. It's kind of just good practice to separate out uh, pieces of code into different files and import them and export them. If you didn't have Webpack, you would have to write every single one of those imports into your, your index.html file. And you're going to have to write it in the order of imports. So if um, a piano imports keys, you have to put the key.js file into index.html first, and then you put the piano, and then you put the app. It's just really confusing. 
So this diagram explains what Webpack does best, and really what's going on here is there's a ton of files that depend on one another, and what Webpack does is it makes one simple file, has the proper imports in the proper order so that you don't have to manually import everything into your index.html file. You can just allow Webpack to bundle everything together, and it'll just create one file and it'll automatically import that. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys learned a little something about NPX Create React app. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this type of content and want to see more, then hit that like and subscribe. It's the best way to support this channel and stay notified when I post new content. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.